what? I say, what's the big idea bashing me on the noggin with a rolling pin? Clunk enough people and we'll have a nation of lump heads. And now, now, now. Mm, that's fun. Talk and rock. The Big Dumb Fun Show. Thanks for hanging out with the Big Dumb Fun Show. If you've got answers, we've got questions. Huh? Give us a call, 888-832-7561. Be live on here Mondays, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. The rest of the week, leave us a random-ass voicemail message. Talk with uh, Frank and Mary Hicks. The, they own Knucklehead Saloon. Uh, just uh, It's in the East Bottoms, and it's something one of those places that... I have I I regrettably have never been to, I but it's, it's definitely on my list. I hear so much about it. Uh, we're going to talk with them and get the the scoop. But you know, we're we're constantly talking with Kilroy and uh, and all these folks that have uh, stuff going on there. But uh, like I said, I have yet to actually get on over to uh, to Knuckleheads. But Why don't uh, we do everyone that t- everyone always days. talks about it. everybody at work talks about it. You going out to Knuckleheads? No, and I can't. I heard they have a great uh, like a fundraiser show or something next. M- Monday. We're going to talk with Mark Brown. He's got a a busking documentary. Busking is Gnurk. What is busking? A street performer. Street performing oh. in the street with your your uh, your guitar case open and and looking for cash. Correct. Well, that's where I met him up at the uh, at the city market here in Kansas City on the weekends. They've got you know you can buy fruits and vegetables. You can mm-hmm. the different times of the, of the of the weekends they have antiques or. Um, different items they have for sale but what they definitely have most every weekend are these different people around the area that area there the city market performing some of them on a flute some of them with a stringed instrument like bagpipes you know. i've never to. seen i've never seen bagpipes i've seen that one on the plaza oh that's right that guy hangs out i, I saw like a hillbilly band the- but i saw this guy sometime back and he had from the back, he had a great voice. I mean, just a phenomenal voice. I swear, I thought, well, this must be what the guy that's the lead singer for Nickelback does when he's not touring. <laughs> yeah, I used yeah. To go to Chad the city. I used to go to the city market when I was younger, and I used to buy those, not the Cracker Jack, but those little things that you tossed and they popped. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, those popper- Firecracker yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. snaps. I yeah, snaps. We're going to talk with market. Mark Brown in a little bit uh, about the, how, how to do busking and, uh, and exactly what the hell that documentary well, he is has about. A, he has a band. Um, what is it? The the Run and Tumbling Run and Tumbling Tumbler Brothers, mm-hmm. and they've got some songs. And hopefully, what I'm hoping is that they bring a guitar with them, and maybe they can give us an acoustic. <gasps> yeah, is he is he Love homeless? Is the guy homeless? Oh, I don't believe he's homeless. We're gonna ask the guy because I just he assumed all buskers out there. He didn't there. smell homeless, and I have smelled <laughs> some homeless people before. You sure have. Uh, and we, it's not off the table. We may talk with the the fine ladies from Aria. Joining us uh, on the show tonight—that's th- that's still up in the air right now. Aria. We're just waiting for uh, what is that? For uh, it, it's uh, it's a band made up of ladies. Oh, I was yeah. thinking of the Vegas Hotel. No, no, no. <laughs> this will be the first time that we spoke with them as well. Their first time inside uh, Studio Four. Last time uh, we uh, we spoke, uh, we, we were talking about the the client appreciation event. You were very upset that day. Because you were having a bad day. Oh, I had the worst day. Now we're we're getting into the red zone here. We're we're oh, less uh, yep. we're about a week away, less than a week away, less than a week away before the wedding of the century. He's go. I thought it was a week away. No. Next week, it's good. The wedding of the century is coming up. It's uh, the American Saturday. American is this Saturday, right? Both weddings are. Oh, this both Saturday. weddings are Saturday. But everything you're starting off, off with the Indian wedding, and then the you're American having like wedding. eight different types of bachelorette parties up until no, the I wedding. No, I had to. This last Saturday was a bachelorette party. I worked today. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow is an all-day errand day. Yeah. And well, I'm ga- thank you. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> that was funny. Wednesday is henna. Yeah. Thursday is rehearsal, rehearsal, dinner. Friday morning is like my ceremony to get purified, I guess is what you can call it. Yeah, that, yeah I would plan for extra hours on that. What I wanted to hear Friday more... Friday evening I, is disco. More than what I wanted to hear, that, other than your itinerary... What time uh, does disco start? <laughs> is, Seven. I want to know what's going wrong. That's what I want. I want to get to the meat and potatoes. What what's happening? Because everything that will go wrong, that can go wrong, will well, she, go wrong. She was sharing some of what went wrong with me on the drive out there. Well, the whole drive out there, actually. The whole drive, <laughs> I was pretty much venting. I, it hasn't been anything towards the wedding part yet. I sure, just, you're not just being a bridezilla. No, I don't think I am. Somebody no. had gotten her a free group couple massage mm-hmm. yeah i got a couple's massage for my bridal shower and i went to call and make an appointment and so i gave them the voucher number and everything and they told me the voucher had to be redeemed 
mm-hmm. or had already been redeemed. And so in order for me to redeem it, I had to prove all this stuff, get receipts, call the girls that got it for me. Oh, because that's embarrassing. I know. And it's like, because it was... Do you think the person that got it for you actually used it and was like, oh, she's never going to use this anyway. <laughs> and you no. just totally called her on it? No. Has, have you ever done that before where you, you, they have those gift cards at No, at, I haven't. At what the I've Walmart? done is I've used it and then I've called and complained and acted like I didn't use it. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Somebody somebody, somebody used, used my m- my couple's massage. Yeah. Uh, no, have you ever w- been to the Walmart and they got, oh, here's a $50 iTunes gift card, but you have to activate it. Right. And then you just give it to somebody and say, hey, here you go, buddy. Uh, yeah, thanks, they uh, don't activate. Merry Christmas, Uncle Jim. And then you're just like, will Uncle Jim actually call you on your BS? Like, are they going to try to use that and then it's denied at the Chili's, you know, and they deny your gift card? Are they going to call you up and be like, oh, Jeff, hey, I'm at the... Uh, thanks for the gift card. Thanks for the gift card once again. I'm at the Chili's now. I know it's about uh, six months after Christmas here, but uh, yeah, it's the we- weirdest thing. There's no money on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I wonder if somebody tried to do that to you, like, just tried to no, pass on I maybe something they that did. they got from I've their wedding. I've never had a massage they, at Chili's. I don't think they did because <laughs> I had a receipt, and they're Barbecue my good sauce. girlfriends. They're not going to do anything like that. And then what else happened? Oh, I got these necklaces made for the mom, Tyler's fired. mom fired up, and folks. my mom that said, thank you for raising the man of my dreams. Thank mm-hmm. you for raising the woman of my dreams. Well, according to the vendor, it's been delivered. Mm-hmm. According to the post office, it's been delivered on March 18th at 426 p.m. Mm-hmm. All my packages go to the apartment complex. What was the address it was delivered to? I'm not telling you that. Oh. According to the apartment complex, there's no package, no log, no nothing. Nothing. These are necklaces that I had made. We're not cheap, and I can't find them. Yeah, give us uh, give us like an estimate. Are we talking like over a thousand dollars? We're not talking over a thousand. We're talking over five hundred dollars. Here's the thing: little they were bit less. custom made necklaces, specially made for this event. Yeah, they're not going to be able to be replaced. No, in the next four days, no. five days. Absolutely not. So I had to. Somebody else out there is running around with a world's greatest mom, <laughs> and they're not that great a mom. <laughs> I was going to say, like, have you have you tried any of the local pawn shops? Well. I mean, Over in your it's, town, they're just not to see. exactly personalized with my mom's name or mm-hmm. Tyler's mom's name, but it just sucks because that was my gift for them. I got two months ago, and so on Friday, I had to scrounge around and find some other crap and get it engraved, and it's not even as meaningful. Here you go, Mom. Here's some crap I got engraved at the no. Things Remembered just right up the street from your Dairy That's Queen. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> I know you boys wanted a spoon. <laughs> Some really cool stuff, but you know the necklaces were so cool. You gotta get the stuff with the now that you got those RFID chips, you gotta get those and put those in the necklaces. That way you can track your mom well, and track I his mom wherever they go. Because I read stuff, I think they're both shifty. Oh, I would God. keep your eye on both those ladies. They may have stole them from your mailbox. Out of at my apartment complex? Absolutely. I doubt I it. Be-